for real though, look outside my window, like, see how much snow there is? Like, I'm not sure you can tell, but there's quite a bit of snow, a few inches. Out there, there was like four to five inches, like, part, on some parts of the road. It was not great. Let's go. It's just me and this guitar playing a song. You can try stealing my heart, it's already gone. You can tell something is wrong, just leave me alone. I don't even know where to start. I What's up, guys? It's Kobe. We're back with another video. You know, I'm, we're about to go on a run. Right now, it's like 18 degrees, but with the wind, it's like zero. So it's going to really suck. Next week is going to suck. Also very cold, but like... You know, we just gotta go through this and it's just gonna make us a better runner, you know, no complaining here. But I noticed that other YouTube channels like West Fly and Morgan McDonald, they're gonna be the future of running. Like, we just had Zach, uh, the athlete special, Emma Aberson, whatever her last name is, but now there's just a new generation and to hop on that trend, you know, so expect to see some good videos coming out this spring, uh, especially with the boys, you know. And, you know, hopefully we can go on to some of those national meets so I can show you guys around. Alright guys, so I just got back from the run. I ran definitely less than I wanted today. It, it was snowy. It was very snowy. Uh, it was also very cold. The wind was strong, but, you know, I got the work done. It felt great. Uh, I definitely was hurting a little bit. There was a lot of ice. I was slipping around a lot. Hurting my legs a little bit because I think I slipped a little more than I wanted to, but other than that, you know, it was it was it was pretty fun. It, it just builds mental confidence, just saying like I have that advantage like over other people who aren't running right now. And that's that's the thing, guys. Like you just gotta be able to do the things that you don't want to do, and that's the way to be successful. So I think like right now, I'll probably like do some core, maybe some like leg strength, just something you know, just keep the body going. Uh, just you know, always do the little things to make sure that you can have a big success. So. I'll see you guys in a little bit. What's up guys, so today I think I'm gonna be doing some Unity. Uh, I've been trying to learn how to develop video games. I've been trying to make a character, not just for my brand, but maybe I can make a game off my brand or something else. Now, I already started drawing it. I'm just gonna let you know I am not great at art. I'm just making a prototype. But however, my dad, he's pretty great at art. I'm here, I'll just, I'll just show you. As you can see here, he drew this Persona 5 uh, drawing. I mean, you know, he found it off the uh, internet, but then he drawed it, you know. So that's pretty impressive. He also drew this, this Harry Potter uh, poster, Hogwarts. All right, guys, so right now we're doing piano. Uh, I just got done with Unity. You know, I'm doing something different other than video games. I just want to learn something new, something fun. Piano seems kind of fun, you know, just doing whatever. Uh, I was never, I never did piano in middle school or elementary school or when I was a kid. I played trombone for a few years, but, you know, I think piano is more fun. Maybe I might get a guitar one day if I ever learn the notes for the piano, but I've been playing for a little bit now, uh, maybe just a few days. <laughs> Nothing much. I still can't play in Jingle Bells, but. Uh, I just want to say if you guys have any ideas for like a brand name or anything I know I was talking about like a uh, character early on uh, just kind of like a logo But if you think of any brand names like something that would be cool to put on like merch or something like I know I can't sell merch right now because you know, I'm a college athlete, but like one day maybe you know that'd be pretty cool but if you think of anything like I don't want to put Kobe on the cob on a piece of like a sweater like that sounds super lame and you know it's just very uninteresting you know if you think of anything just let me know uh, you know whether it's just my own name hi guys so I'm making fajitas right now I got the chicken going over here we got the peppers we got the onion so yeah What's up guys, so right now I'm going to show you my running shoe collection. One of my biggest mistakes and regrets of running is throwing away my shoes. They're like collectibles, you don't want to throw them away. And I threw probably a huge chunk of my shoes away, which I really regret now. I still do have like a few pairs, probably like two that I didn't throw away that are probably a few years old. Uh, I do have two pairs that are about a year old, but here, yeah, let me just show you. So starting off, we got the uh, my first pair of running shoes. Um, well, I wouldn't say running shoes, but my, the first shoes I used in race. Now they're my mowing shoes, but you know, you got the Dual Fusion Nikes. Uh, they still fit me, uh, but yeah, back in the day, they were gray and orange. They were really cool. Uh, weren't very fast, but you know, they were 
They're a nice shoe. I really like them. Next up, we got the New Balances. Now these I got probably in my sophomore or junior year of high school. As, as you can tell, I changed the laces to the triathlon laces. You can kind of tighten it up. It's just a faster transition. Yeah, they're, you know, they were a really nice pair of shoes. I really like them. I use them a lot during my triathlon races. I don't know what model this is. It says fresh from 1080, but I don't know if that's the model. But I really like these pair of shoes. I still use them sometimes when I walk around or you know go places. They're just really nice. All right, now we're up to the Nike running shoe collection. Uh, as I said, the first pair of shoes that I used to run was those Nike Dual Fusions, but the first running shoe I ever had were the Brooks Ghost 7s, I believe. They were this blue shoe, they were really nice. I remember the first day I wore it, I went under 12 and the 32. So, huge difference from wearing the old shoes from like 12, 21, all the way down to like under 12, I believe. But, so next we got the Peggy's uh, 35s, they're really nice. Uh, I remember these shoes, I really like these shoes, and I use them a lot for workouts. The one thing that I didn't like about the 35s, like in the middle, like it would always like, when I take like a, a took a step, like a wrong step, it would always like have this sharp pain on my foot. Like I didn't know if that's from the shoe or if that's just a normal model, but like I'm pretty sure it wasn't me because other shoes I wore, I never had that problem. So, you know, other than that, I really like the design on these, you know, pretty cool. Really love the Pegasus model. My other 35s, I also got this a little bit later. I used to wear this with a fit. Uh, I used to have some lime green uh, Nike shorts. And I used to wear like a black tank with these, you know, some black Nike, Nike socks. So, you know, just with the fit. But yeah, I really like these. If you really have like a good pair of like green stuff, this just goes really well with it. So now here are the shoes I'm currently running in. I got these shoes back in the... In April 2020, uh, the Pegasus 36s, uh, very nice. I thought this was such a cool color. Just really, these are really nice shoes. Probably my favorite running model. Uh, I mean, the 37s so far are really nice too, but the 36, I just have a love for them. All right, I got these about like November of 2020, the 37s. I'm currently running these too. Uh, they're a little bit muddy. Uh, as you can tell, but also very nice. They got the USA colors, really nice. Uh, also, they felt really like, how do I say it, like bouncy? But other than that, like just a really nice pair. And this is probably one of my favorites. Got the Tokyo 36s for the Pegasus model. And I just really love these. Like, see the detail? Got like little flowers and everything, just super cool. Also got some like wording like up in here. Just super cool. But yeah, I'm also, I got this a few weeks ago. I think more like a month. But these so far are really nice. I have only ran a few miles in these, so I'm just trying to save them for the rest of the year. So I'll probably start using it more during track season. But so those are my running shoes. I'm gonna show you guys my racing shoes now. So let's start off with some of the uh, spikes from uh, middle school. I got the sprinter spikes. I remember one day at practice, I wore these in a two mile like, like run just a normal run and these like I don't understand like I wish I had like I wish coach told me like You know what kind of spikes to get because these things like they don't bend at all like, you know, they're stiff So it's it was it was not comfortable and I never raced in these so they're basically brand new I only wore them like once and that was for the two mile next up. We got the uh, Nike victory threes uh, a very nice shoe I remember I got this as a birthday present um, my freshman year. There were, I wore them all throughout high school. Uh, they're just really nice, very durable. Just even the colors, like look at that. It's like blue and fades into black. Like if I, I wish these were like brand new because I would definitely wear this with the LCC fit. But yeah, very nice. Also got the holes in the back. Just such a nice shoe. I love this spike to death. I really wish I had a new pair. And Next up, we get the uh, cross country spikes. Yeah, I wore this at Full Locker Midwest uh, my senior year. And yeah, they got burnt out or mudded out, I should say. Junior year also made it super bad. Just cross country spikes, you just have to replace like every two years, probably. Maybe even a year. But 
Now, I really like these spikes. These were very light and, you know, they were really nice. Um, I really wish I still had my freshman sophomore pair because I, those were probably my favorite spikes. And they were only 15 bucks. Like, you don't have to spend a ton for a good pair of spikes. I think I gave them to one of my teammates back in high school. But, again, these ones really helped me junior, senior year. Uh, you know, even the color is pretty cool. It used to be, like, a reddish orange. Next is the shoes I still wear. They're my... Um, uh, four persons, my vapor flies. I wore this like for two races. One for the Cherry Mile back in Traverse City. I think that was like in my junior to senior summer. And I wore this for the R5K at Capital City. I really like these shoes. They're very light. You can definitely feel the push. I wonder how the next percents are because you know they're the next model up. But you know I really like these shoes. Even the color, you know, really nice. Um, I just, this just feels so light. Like, I really love the Next Percent Vaporfly. You know, all that kind of stuff. I just love them. And lastly, we get the spikes I'm currently using. I got the Brooks uh, V-Wire 5s. Uh, very nice spike. Also very beautiful uh, color. Uh, I use this for a few races. A few for indoor in my senior year. Uh, I wore this at States. I wore this in a few time trials, but... I'll barely use, but I'm really hoping this spring these uh, spikes really help me out. So that's it for the shoe collection. Again, I really love all my shoes I have. I'm probably gonna keep these for the rest of my life, you know, just as a collection. I, I mean, there's probably gonna be like hundreds, mm, more like 50s. Yeah, more like hundreds of shoes that I probably collect over my life, whether they're for racing or just for running, you know. I might not be competing when I'm older, but I just do it for my health, you know, it's always good. I said you get